special shout out to my amazing members and patrons. Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charm, Drake Hameway, Charlene Kelly, IMBs, Madler, Yumi, Harrington, Justin Rice, Killer Bunny 264, Mephisto, MDS 84ZA, The Hellraiser, Connect 76, Blalco, Jellybeams, UK's Reaper, Krabian, and Zreal for your amazing support. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wild West Mod. So last episode I said I'll get you guys back at uh, morning time, but I hear a ton of footsteps outside with the wolf, so there might be a wandering horde. I'm just hoping the fire mod does not work in this mod because I'm about to use the Molotov. And yo, let's hope we can actually kill the wolf as well. Um, also, we need to figure out where we are. I'm guessing this is the map that we're playing on right now, the frontier map. So if we can figure out where the shipwreck is and all that stuff and where we are, we might actually be able to just see, okay, we, have, we can go there for this, there for this. We're either going to be over here or here. There's snow very close to us. I'm guessing we are somewhere over here. Oh, the lighthouse is right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lighthouse is right there, so we are right here as well. Eastwood Village, that's where we were last episode. And there's Eastwood City, Westwood City, City, Village. The village is very, like, just has five or six buildings, so I'm see, I want to see how big the city is. But for now, we want to make sure we kill, clear that village, and also, you hear the footsteps outside, we have to clear all these zombies out. I want to actually do this. I want to make sure they heard me just now. I should probably try and see if I can't get outside. If I can do this fast enough. Come on guys, come to me, come to me, come to me. If all of them are over here, we can use a Molotov. The Wandering Horde is still approaching. Okay, I don't think that the fire mod is working, because otherwise this would have started burning already. Unfortunately, you did not go through the fire just now, my dude. Oh my, I wanted to shoot the man. At least we're going to get some XP this way, so that's awesome. If I stand over here, we'll be able to... Oh, it's just a shame that we just used the last Molotov. Well, our first and last. <laughs> we only have seven shots left. I should probably use my... Oh, how did you make up here? Yeah. I should probably use my uh, pistol on me, because it has like five shots. Compared to this one over here that has so few. This might have been a bad idea. Uh, I just realized there are so many zombies over here. Okay, if I can just pick that up. No, they damaged that beyond repair already. Damn. They might actually cave in the sign as well, so I have to be careful of that. Because I'm standing up here. And I don't know how many of them took damage just now. Oh, we need to be careful that we don't call in a scream or the gunfire. Imagine uh, trying to take care of a wandering horde and then uh, actually attracting a screamer. Almost said in Afrikaans. On track is scream. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, let's see. We're gonna use this one. Only have 11 shots. No, 17 shots. If there weren't, like, feral and stuff, we might actually be able to kill or go down and then kill them. But most of these, uh, some of them might actually be feral mixed in over here, so we have to be careful of that. Oh, they're stacking up underneath us. I might be able if um, well, if I go get a coffee, I might be able to do this. I wanna see if I go get a coffee whether I'll be able to melee them or if I'm gonna run out of stamina first. The only problem is I don't know how fast they are. Some of them might be super fast, some of them might just be normal speed. It looks like he wanted to take a drink just now from that beer, do you see? As soon as he stood up, it looks like he wanted to take a swig. Okay, nice. Dead headshots, Sean. Headshots. Oh, that was a bad shot just now. One shot left. Okay, so for now we can technically keep this gun at the base. And technically the hunting rifle as well. We don't need all of them on us. And yeah, some of them are definitely feral. You can actually see them run. I wonder now, would it be a good idea to go down there with them? Because what I could do is I can go in onto the ladder at my base. Oh, come on. There's a ladder on the inside of my base. So I can uh, stand on that ladder and try and hit them. But since it's only two blocks high, what they'll do is they'll stand on each other's heads to try and get to me. If they can do that and they can get to me, we might have a really big problem. And these have 141 arrows, so as long as I can do some headshots, I should hopefully potentially be able to take all of them out. Let me make sure that they don't accidentally cave in the thing underneath me. We can always go mine for more stone and stuff. We've been picking up a ton of feathers. And we just have to chop down a tree. And then we can make way more arrows as well. Unfortunately, it's a little bit dark, guys. I do apologize. Um, I'm hoping you can all see all the zombies. I can actually do this for you, at least. As long as I don't take the zombies to that side, you should be able to have light the whole time. It does bother me that they're going for the poles over here, so I'm... Yeah, they're going to break this thing down before I even get out of here. I know one or two of them are feral. If we could actually see the HP bars in their names, I would have been able to see who's feral and go for them first. And then the normal zombies would be able to go and just melee. 
The normal ones, at least, uh, they're only jogging at night. They're not sprinting or anything. So that was a miss. I hate it when you shoot, and as you shoot, they end up moving. That's a bad shot. That's a bad shot. Come on, man. Stand still. I know you want me. But damn, that desperately. <laughs> that desperately. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wonder what they're busy breaking at the moment. I definitely hear them hitting on wood. I'm kind of curious to see what they're hitting right now. I think the damage over here is going to be severe. So I need to really go after this and repair this place. I think there is a quest, a homestead quest. We have to make a ton of... Um, we have to gather like a thousand wood or something. And make a ton of frames. So I'm actually thinking of either building around the trader. Or we can go and just repair this fence over here. Make our own wall around this place. And then later when we have the resources, we can just break this down. Okay, now to take her down is going to be a problem. I must stand still. I need your head. Come on. See, when he's crawling, it's easy enough to time it. But when he's climbing, his head is erratic. It makes it so much harder to hit his head. Stand still. I still need to find a pure either we can face the day 7 horde with. But hopefully by then we have enough cobble. Because I have been picking up all the resources we've come across. Okay, so... Wait, where's the wolf? Did they kill the wolf or did the wolf run away? I need to make sure that I don't accidentally run into the wolf right now. I'm hoping the wolf is here somewhere so I can get that meat, man. He must have despawned by now. That's unfortunate. That's truly unfortunate. I wanted that meat from him, but unfortunately he's not here anymore. Okay. Unfortunately, we do not get the meat. At least we do have the 7.6. I wonder which one I should keep on me. The, the pipe rifle or the pistol? I think it's more likely to get 9 more ammo, but I don't know. If we do this for now. Food, drink. I should actually also keep food on me, but we don't have, really have anything we can keep on us at the moment. Uh, this we can actually turn into something, or we can drink or eat it. It actually gives you food as well. Ugh, is that how thick it is? <laughs> Just the thought of it actually makes me sick. Okay, so uh, let's put this away. This one I actually technically want to keep in case we get more 7.62 because it's a nice hunting rifle. Although for now, yeah, let's just put that away until we have actually more ammo. There's no point in keeping this stuff on us just in case we get, come across stuff. So for now, I can even go and do this since we have less weapons to worry about. And we do still have the torches. I actually want to see if I can't keep one more torch on us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when I sort that, that's going to pop over there. And then quest, skill points. We have one skill point to spend over here. So... I'm actually either thinking of going for minor, minor 69er to do more block damage, or mother load to get more resources. Although, if, if we can get the stamina maxed out, which is strength level... No, 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 no. We have to go brains. I need to unlock the server here. I need one more point. And then I can make the chassis for the bicycle, and we'll be able to go and drive around. The sooner we have a bicycle, the sooner we'll be able to get out and get to safety. Every time we run out of stamina and we're just walking instead of just driving towards a trade or whatever... Um, yeah, it's very, very dangerous for us. Okay, I'm guessing it also only opens at like 5 or 6, right? He's going to TP us away. What does he open at 4? He opens at 4! Drop your drawers. Okay, if this was minus 7, I'd take that, but... <laughs> bottle bombs. They don't even call it Molotovs, they call it bottle bombs. But at least you guys know the game enough, so if I say Molotovs, you know what I'm referring to. Should technically get myself some 7.62 rounds for that hunting rifle. But, if I can get the chassis pads, that would be amazing if I can actually afford the chassis right now. Technically, I should see if we can't make the forges and stuff. We should have everything we need to make those. If we can get the forge and the workbench and all that stuff going, it's going to help us so much. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting more Molotovs. Especially if we get a, uh, come across like a massive wandering horde or something. The more Molotovs we have, the better. And then also, if I could buy some food... Yeah, but it's too expensive. We only have 365, so we have to see what we can buy right now. I don't want to just spend the money and then worry about it later. That's 50 food. That's 35. I will go for the 50 food one. That's right. Do the math. That's right. Do the math. Okay, uh, this is the farm closest to us. I, wanna, I don't want to do that one. Let's go. We want to go west. Yeah, south is probably going to be like the lighthouse or something. Yeah, let's go do the lighthouse fantastic. again. The lighthouse might be... And then we go back because we do still have to go check out that... Um, Oh, is that a feral? Yep, she's feral. We still do need to go check out the the, the the shipwreck. There might be more to the shipwreck than meets the eye. Whoopsie. Were you part of the Wandering Hall just now? Because you are feral. Although we have seen quite a few ferals already. So that means that mutated zombie that we got in the beginning was feral. 
It's just he might have hurt his leg or something. That's why he wasn't super uh, super fast or something. Okay, so that is 10 slots. Let's go. Let us go, let us go. If we can just make sure... Oh, yeah, before we go. I want to make sure if we can't quickly make that forge. Although I don't know if we have enough clay. Yeah, I'm going to have to dig up some clay to get some. It's easy enough because we do have the shovel. We don't break a leg. It's probably dumb of me to jump like that. We should dig into the hill over there, but for now I'm just going to go as close as possible. I hate it when I do a power attack and there's grass that you hit. What I like is in Ravenhurst, uh, there's very, very little grass. So it's just, you can actually see, it's like, like the tall ones and every now and then you get these shorter ones. These shorter ones, if you're just mining for some um, clay, it really gets in your way. I absolutely despise every time I swing this thing and it hits something. I also want to go check out what pure eye is that one over there. Hello, my lady. Are you also going to be feral? Let me get some stamina back in case. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll use the knife. I was about to say, we'll use the knife and then we'll use the club, but it was not necessary. Damn. Okay, we should have enough now to actually make ourselves a forge. Uh, stone, I think we have like 80-something stone left, hopefully. Yep, definitely more than enough. Uh, forge. Okay, uh, 10 leather, surgical tape. Well, the leather might be a tough one. Okay, yeah. Uh, surgical tape, we have the, the leather and stuff. I'll just put these here for now because I do want to use that. Okay, so yeah, on the way back, uh, on the way to this lighthouse now, we have to uh, look for more animals. And instead we don't have, I should actually buy like one or two rounds of 7.62 and tuck the pipe, uh, pipe rifle with me. So if we come across a wolf or something, we can snipe them from a distance doing bonus damage. Especially without the Nimal ammo right now, if we come across a wolf, we're going to have to stack up against a tree or something just to take them down with the arrows. Even if you were to do melee, like uh, the knife and the, the sledge to the face of a thing. Oh, that's a big farm. If you, if you uh, were to do like uh, cutting damage and blunt damage to the wolf, it might kill you before you kill it because you're going to run out of stamina in the meantime. So I need to be really careful when we come across some wild animal right now. And then also, like I said, guys, there is more loot in the bottom of that ship. Technically, that ship has capsized. So the best loot is on the very bottom. But to do that, you have to go swim. So... What you should probably do, or if you can, um, it's going to take some time, but place frames. If you go in that ship and you start placing frames, oopsie, you will be able to go and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just do that. Okay. Uh, if you place frames, you can actually go and uh, take the water out. If you uh, if you pull all where all the water is with uh, frames, it'll actually give you... Oh, now this thing's going to attack me. If you fill it in with frames, it's definitely going to give you enough. Since I'm damaged, it's definitely going to come down to me. But yeah, I don't know if you guys know that trick. If you go and you fill in an area with frames, it takes all the water away. That's the easiest way for you to see if you can't get some resources from that. Yeah, that looked like he just, just dodged it. He's definitely going to attack it. Now I have a concussion as well for two hours. So I need some... Oh, this is going to... Guys, this is really bad if you get a concussion like this. Because uh, at the worst time, you're going to get that thing. It, it looks like you're going drunk, a very a blurry vision, and you slow down. You need uh, painkillers to be able to deal with it. Okay, now the nice thing is, this time around, we have some proper tools. The first time we were here, we just started out and we had nothing, and now we have proper tools to go and wrench everything or break everything. Okay, I'm wondering if I shouldn't grab all of the resources of here as well. Now nah, I can just... Uh, we do need the wood, but I could just go for the tree. There's definitely going to be some zombies in there. I should, wonder if I shouldn't try and snipe them through the door. And vultures over here somewhere. Oh, I should probably also put this in, um, uh, in one of these tools so they don't break too easily. Let's go for the shovel. Structural brace. No, 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 no. My knife needs to lo uh, last the longest. Is that vulture part of this? I hear another vulture over there. Over there. That one's the one screaming. Come on, come on, come on. How many zombies? Oh, there's more zombies in there. Yeah, all of them are still asleep. There you go. Okay, that dude over there, I'm hoping I can shoot through the bed over there, but I think the bed is a full block. No, it's not. Okay, cool. And it's just those crawlers that were there last time that's now also wreaking some havoc. 
It's already broken. As we clear the places, technically you should always first clear out a POI. And then go and uh, like clear out the zombies and then go and strip. See, that's the thing I was talking about. If this happens, guys, you are you can get hit because you slow down as well. So we need some painkillers to deal with it. And if we can't find some, that might actually become a problem later. And then a cooking pot, thank you. Open this up for me. They always get stuck on that wall over there, it seems. I'm guessing it's to do with the way that bed is set up, but for some reason they get stuck. I'm just, guys, if we were to encounter another one of those um, mutated zombies right now, I think at least we'd be able to deal with it. Except if this concussion kicks in. Come on. To this side. I need to see your head for at least once. Come on, man. There you go. I need to bleed him out, but I don't want to get too close. If he hits me and he bleeds me or breaks a leg or arm or something. Just because he keeps getting stuck in a block, I'm gonna be so mad. I keep running out of- <laughs> there you go. I keep running out of stamina when I try and do that. Okay, so there shouldn't be any vultures or anything inside this P.I. Nope. Ooh, need to be careful not to break my legs right- No, oh wait, it's broken. This wasn't broken last time, was it? I wonder how I got up here last time. How was that broken just now? Well, uh, I think one of these crawlers was actually probably up here. And ended up uh, breaking that, trying to get down to me. That almost looks like he's in here with us. That could have been really bad just now. Okay, give me some loot, give me some loot. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ironbreaker goes over here. Soon we'll be able to go... Oh, wait, not modify. Where? Soon we'll actually be able to go and... Um... I'm a brain man. <laughs> I was about to say we can do something soon and now I completely forgot what I was about to say. I hate it when that happens to me. Okay, let's just put this in here. It was to do with the looting, man. But guys, it's sometimes, I'm actually always worried that I'm getting old or something, but the, the times that happens or just happened, I want to say something and then I think about something just for a split second. And that one thing that I saw of all of a sudden takes away from what I wanted to say. Oh, now we'll be able to break into safes and stuff easily. There you go. Now that's an iron breaker on this pick, and now we have actually have a pick. We'll be able to go and do it properly. Come on. They're definitely going to attack me right now. Is that vulture still sleeping up there? Oh, I didn't even see this thing just now. That saved me. <laughs> that saved me just now. But yeah, now we have an Iron Breaker. It says Return to Trader. Nice. Now that we have the Iron Breaker, we don't, like I said, we don't have to worry about um, breaking into safes and stuff. And now that we have a proper pick. I wonder if I shouldn't go to a doctor and ask them what about, what's going on. I might, they might just give me like uh, some, they, they might tell me to read more, get out more, or they might just give me something for my memory loss. It's not really memory loss. It's just, it's... Like for a split second that I just forget what I was busy with. And then after that, all of a sudden I remember again. Then it's easy. I'm so... Let me just go check what that is, guys. That is bothering me. It almost looks like a house or something sank. Is that part of the ship or is that something special? I want to go check that out. We also need to be careful because the vulture is still on us. So if we see this um, shadow diving down to us, the silhouette of the vulture, we have to turn around. Technically, I should probably go into the ship again to see what's inside, but... Remember, this place is bound to have a secret stash as well. So, uh, yeah, it's, it might be worth going to check it out. But the problem is we can't hollow breath. We can't swim that well yet. If we actually... Imagine you could actually equip something to go and swim and you don't have to worry too much about your breath and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Ooh, that looks like a fish trap or something down there. Go up, go up, go up, go up. That's a fish trap, isn't it? Come on, please breath hold. I have 56. Yeah, it's a bait trap. What? And I have to go up first? Because the vulture just dove down here with us. What the hell? I didn't know a vulture could swim. Come on, up you go. I wonder if I can jump down to it. We might be able to climb this. And then by jumping, we can get deeper into the water. But that vulture just now, was that the one that was following us? 
all of a sudden there was just a vulture and I was like, what the hell is damaging me right now? Okay, do this. Do that. I thought I might be taking damage from like the the uh my breath running out or something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, lobsters, nice. Let's go have us some fish meal. <laughs> Come on, 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 come on. There you go. And breathe. Ooh, claustrophobia. Oh, wow. 10,000 H. I wonder how good this will be as a horde base. What is this? And that's... What just now was 10,000 HP? That confuses me. It seems there might be... I think that might actually be full over there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not let them around water, my screen's bucking out again, but also, they're all white. They swim faster than you, so you have to be careful of that. I might be able to run and swim fast, but I don't know. He's going to catch me before then. The vulture's still have Oh, there's still another vault. So it wasn't him. There was a vulture then. Oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Let's heal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, my arm's broken now. I couldn't do any power attacks anymore. Okay, the bloody vulture attacked at the wrong time just now. Okay, so my arm is just... Oh, it's not broken. Phew, it's just sprained. But damn, that was, un that was unfortunate just now. I'm so focused on the feral. If I hit him just now, uh, the, the vulture basically tanked a hit for him. If the vulture wasn't there, I might have been able to knock him down and off, and that gives me a little bit more time to defend myself. But because of that bloody vulture just now, it took the hit for the thing, and I was able—I wasn't able to hit him again in time. Oh, hello, 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 hello. You know, the problem is we won't be able to do power attacks. We should be able to one-shot most stags and stuff. But you guys, because our arm is now bu uh, not bugged, uh, damaged, uh, we'll have to take steroids. To make sure that we can actually uh, do power attacks and stuff. Otherwise, it's like a, a sprained leg. If you run with a sprained leg, it actually gives you damage. Every time you hit that shift button to run. So if you do this, this, this. Every time you hit shift, you take damage. Same with the, uh, with the other thing. Now, if you do this, you lose. Look at that. It's damage. So what I'm going to have to do now is take some steroids just so I can do some power attacks. This I don't care what folks say about you. Um, You're all what do I need? Okay. Technically, I need more space, but ammo. If I can get myself a shotgun... Any more jobs? Fetch to the west. This is... Quest to the north? There's something... Oh, it's either going to be this or it's going to be to the north. Let's see. What is this? Jobs to the north? I don't trust you. No. Okay, there's a picture. I haven't been to the picture house yet. Nice. Let me just quickly go make sure we drop all this stuff off. I'm going to see if we can't put a splint on, although I, I doubt it. Sometimes you can use a splint to um to kill the spray and stuff, and other times it says, no, sorry, it has to be broken. I think it's in Darkness Falls where a splint actually um, helps your sprained item or sprained leg or whatever. We're definitely going to need some more wood soon. We need 1,500 for that one quest. And at the moment, we only have 900. So we're actually very close to having enough. Nice. Okay, now I just have to go and drop everything and we have to be on our way again. Okay, I just ate some of the gumbo stuff that I bought over here from the trader, that food. Everything I'm gonna check what this thing's sale. name, because I just got the speed effect from, um, Mega Crush. This thing. When I ate it just now, it gave me a burst of speed, Mega Crush. I'm gonna buy it then again. That is so worth it. I, I was like, why am I so fast all of a sudden? Okay, unfortunately, we don't have any... painkillers right now, so I can't cure my, uh, my concussion. That's actually really bad right now. If that kicks in at the worst time, we might actually end up dying from it. Uh, we do have Molotovs. I have this over here now for some hunting. And I'm going to, yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep this on me because now we know. Ooh, eat it and go super, super fast. Thank God you're done browsing. Look at this. Mega Crush time. <laughs> and it's going to last for six minutes. It gives you Mega Crush for six minutes. That's amazing. Although it might not be a full six minutes. It might just be a, a few minutes. But it says max stamina boost for... Let's just please check over this. Oh, Mega Crush is not going to last. Like a max stamina boost is boosted due to the food. But uh, the Mega Crush, uh, I think, is only temporary. Damn. That would have been cool. Okay, I'm passing a ton of bird's nest and stuff right now, but I want to get to this pure ivy here. I'm just hoping. Imagine you think you can outrun a wolf, and then it runs out right next to the wolf. 
With my luck- Oh, 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 there's a new town over here. Hello. I should actually check on the map which town this is. Uh, no. This one over here. So, basically, it's either... That's a lighthouse. We were over here. I wonder if this is Eastwood Village. But then what's that over there? Is that just the outpost and this is an actual village? Oh, ooh, that pure eye has some good loot at the, uh, at the final stash. If we can bypass some of these pure eyes and just go for the final stash immediately, we might come out ahead. Okay, some of these pure eyes I haven't seen in a really long time, so I have to be careful right now. Is it this one? Man, also I had to cough. In Rebirth, this is where you can actually find... Oh yeah, I have to be careful of my power attacks. In Rebirth, this is where you can find the farmer NPC. Or the farmer trader. Probably take some steroids quickly so I don't have to worry about my, my hand. At the moment, every time I hit something with power attack, which is most of the time, I end up hurting myself. See, I want to do all of these pure eyes over here. I think the final stash for this is going to be like in that barn over there. Oh, no, 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 no. This is where the honey is. So it's at the back over there. One thing is for certain. We want to make sure we get all of these vehicles and stuff while we are. Hello. Will I be able to kill you that way? I don't think so. I just realized once again, power attack. That's going to damage me. I'm so used to bleeding the zombies. I'm hoping that's a concussion cure at the back. Also, we didn't have any uh, splint, so I couldn't test out whether the splint works in this mod or not. I need concussion cure. Come on, man. Guys, you literally start, you can't sprint when this happens. And every time you can't sprint, that's a chance for a zombie to actually jump on you and actually do some damage. So now, instead of doing a power attack... Oh, nice! Instead of being able to do a power attack to bleed them and then knocking them down, we just have to keep them at bay with a left click. Nice! Okay, we have to loot all of these vehicles because they're just now... We just got a really good quality axe. Oh no, that's a spider. Oh crap. Oh no, there's a spider over there. Um, Let's do this. I need to see if I can't snipe the, the spider for... Oh, he saw me. Come on, 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 come on. He's gonna jump to me at any time right now. Okay, the more zombies come for us right now, the worse it gets. And also, if, we, if the concussion hits right now, we are so screwed. Oh, okay, nice, 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 nice. It seems that bullet to the face really helped. Actually, there's nothing in the vicinity that can actually come for us right now. Technically, I could just take the steroids and then it's gonna, uh, I'm gonna be able to do power attacks. But at the same time, I don't want to waste the steroids right now. The steroids are more for if you want to carry more. So, uh, for example, before we'll turn up your cons. Um, for example, if you want to get back to the base after looting a ton of vehicles and wrenching them, and you're full, then you take the steroids. I'm going to go for all of these wagons over here, because they might really give us an, a, ton, a ton of resources. Also, if I can get enough forged iron this way, we'll be able to go and make ourselves a workbench. If we can make the cement mixer and the workbench as soon as possible, that's going to help us towards the base. By day 7, I might actually be able to make a proper horde defense. If this feels very um, vanilla-esque, so yeah, we might be able to survive this. Might being the word. Oh... No, the final stash isn't up there. I think it's at the back over here, in, in a bunker. Oh, there's something back there. Hello? I hear... Oh, you see a zombie over there. I, about to say, I can hear a zombie walking, but I can't see it. But there's also a female zombie to the left. I think the female zombies inside the POI and the male zombies over that side over there. I just have to make sure we keep our ears open every now and then so we don't get jumped from behind. Come on, dude, come closer. That <laughs> that bottle in his hand looks so weird. He's busy drinking, man. Leave him. Leave him be. Oh, at least that happened now before we face this dude. If this happened while we were facing him, he starts to run. Oh, I think let's just quickly face him quickly. I'm trying to not do the power attacks, but if we just have to do everyone uh, once every now and then, just to quickly help us out, why not? See, there's a bunker down there, there's some final stash, and then this over here, stone water well. Ooh! There's water wells all over the map that you can actually get. And it seems like there's another uh, another sunken ship or something over there we can actually get. But yeah, there's definitely a zombie inside over here. 
Uh, we should be able to make it out this way. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, that vulture's coming for us. Oh, there's two vultures. So, yep, that's definitely a power attack thing. Oh, I just give them a way out. If they climb on that ramp over there, the, the frame I put, I could use one of the monitors, but I want to use that for a wandering horde. Or for a scream horde. Okay, um... No, 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 no. That's a waste. Okay, please burn to death, dudes. Reload. I need to kill that cop before he explodes. Nice. I want the XP. If he dies, then I would have wasted that Molotov just now. Come on, 14 seconds of the... Okay, uh, 12 seconds left. There you go. See, because I'm doing power attacks right now, it stood still at like... Oh, no, it's back to 13 again. I need to make, um, to make sure that I don't do too many power attacks right now because it's really going to mess with us. Okay, so yeah, I messed up over there just now. I almost made the zombies be able to get to me. Oh, also, modify, do this. Modify, use this one. Because this one is definitely better. Yeah, it's way better than the one we have currently. Nice. Okay, so there shouldn't be any zombies down here, hopefully. Sometimes the zombies were just... Uh, well, some of them actually might have come from in here. Because all of a sudden, I only saw the cop, and all of a sudden I see all these zombies here. Uh, we are going to have to try and break this open now, so I'm going to have to cut away. Hopefully we don't get stuck down here with a ton of zombies. We have to open up a hardened uh, chest. Is there a safe to our right? Yeah, oof. It's about 12,000... 14,000 HP that I have to break with this pick of mine right now. Shotgun, nice, 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 nice. That'll definitely come in handy. And then, yeah, well, I just want to quickly make sure I quickly go for the safe and stuff over here, but they're locked. We don't have a lockpick or anything yet. So we're going to have to do this. And as you can see, this is only 2.5, that's 5, and this is 7 over here. No, this is a 10,000. I might just actually have to mark this and come back with lockpicks. Although, since we're here, we might as well just try and make it uh, open them up, right? The problem is, it's going to take the whole day, or the whole rest of the day to do this. Last one, I'm going to go do the quest. Um... Let's say safes. Like so. A lot of safes. <laughs> we'll need to come back over here then uh, when we have enough lockpicks and stuff. Because guys, it's going to take us forever to be able to destroy all of that right now. Thought I saw a screamer just now. I do not feel like encountering a screamer right now, thank you. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the episode here. Next episode, we're going to start with this quest itself. Um, okay, let's see. That is broken. That's empty. I should probably make sure we get all of these um, vehicles over here. All of these wagons. There's definitely going to probably be a zombie over here somewhere. But yeah, if we can range all of these uh, wagons every time we come across one, we'll be able to have enough forged iron and stuff to really do what we need to do. This zombie over here, I can actually use my bow to take care of her. So we do this, do this. Okay, there you go. So guys, if you guys liked this episode, please like to share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Wild West fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.